Hello, hello everybody. Happy Sabbath.、Um, I hope you guys can、um, can hear me. This is a pretty quick,、uh, short video, and、um, I just wanted to come out here and、uh, share something with you guys.、Um, some of you guys are going to see the video a little bit later,、um, but what's important is、um, to not take my word for it, but to. To search,、um, as we see, as times are happening right now,、um, just wanted to share that the final events are upon us. The time to prepare for Christ is right now. The Holy Spirit is moving so many people to let them know that the time is now. You have to warn people of the things that are coming upon us. Everything may seem peaceful, but it's not going to be any much longer. The papacy, all the sins of the papacy, are being exposed because God wants us to see what is happening. Sad thing, I don't see anybody boycotting the church of what is happening. The time to get right with God is now. There's no more time to wait. If your church is not preaching the truth, if your church is not telling you to leave the worldly things, talking about music, movies, the fast food industry, there's so much truth out there of how Satan is working in this world to destroy humanity. That is the truth. And I just want to come out here and tell you guys and warn you guys that there is going to be a Sunday law coming. Many people don't see it, but there's history behind it. Years ago, there was going to be a law passed. There's newspapers to prove it. There's so much out there, people. So much truth out there. Is how close-minded do you want to be? Many Christians out there say I'm a follower of Christ, but don't sit there and read their word. Don't sit there and try to depart themselves from sin. Don't sit there to do good works out here. I'm just telling you, it is time to prepare. It is time to talk to God, not take my word, but talk to God and tell Him to show you, because. Things, horrible things are happening. Plagues, cities are going to be destroyed. Please, please, don't ignore the signs. The papacy, the Pope right now, he is moving so fast. Trump uniting with the church, with the evangelicals. The daughters of Babylon are working, and they're trying to pass the unity between church and state. And we have to go out there and warn people. Going to church every Sabbath is not going to save you. I'm sorry, but it's not going to save you. Your salvation is in your hands. It's not in your pastor's hand. It is not on anybody's hands. It's on your hands. I hope that many people aren't going to be like Lot. What happened to Lot? He went back to the city, and because of God's grace, he sent some people out there to get him. He sent some angels out there to save him. At the last minute, before that city was destroyed, and then that city was what full of sin, homosexuality, all over it, drunkenness, ignorance. We see that right now. People's hearts are going cold. It is here, people. It is here. Look at what is happening in China. They're tracking everybody. So much is happening, and I'm just coming out here to tell you that it is time to prepare. The final events are here. The papacy, the Pope, went to North Korea. Communist. Country who persecutes Christian. The moment you say I'm a Christian, you get killed. You get shot. Your family gets shot. Gets killed. And let's not talk about the 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 deal that he did behind the scenes with 
with China. He is doing so much, and not just him, but Trump also. Trying about peace, everything's gonna be fine. Make America great again. At first, you know what? Sounded good. Sounds great. But I'm sorry. Look at Venezuela. Look at the events that are happening right now. And sooner or later, people will be asking for unity. And people will bend over for a Sunday law to combat climate change. But which Sunday? Which, which Sabbath? That's what they're going to say, Sabbath day. Let's keep Sabbath day holy. Let's not do any shopping. Let's not do anything because that's what the word of God says. Yes, it does say that. But which day? The day that the papacy, the Catholic Church, demands to keep holy? Which is not biblical? Which they tell you right in front of your face that Sunday is not a holy day. That Sunday is their mark of authority, not God's authority. Why doesn't the Pope talk about Jesus is coming soon? Oh yeah, because he says that he is God himself. People, it is time to wake up. It is time to prepare. It is now. Time is now. We need to wake up. We need to get right with God. And if you don't want to listen and if you want to be a scoffer, that's fine. Call me crazy. Call me whatever you want. And I will feel the pain. Because a lot of us are going to see so many suffering. And we're not going to be there to tell you, I told you so, to get ready with God. There's going to be no time for that. There's going to be no time. And if you can, please share this video if you can. Or search. Talk to God directly. He is telling you to talk to Him. Make time with Him. He loves you. And he wants you to be saved and to go to heaven with him. And that's another deception right now. That the dead, the people that die at this instant, that are in heaven. That doesn't make any sense. Then why are the dead in Christ going to rise when Jesus' second coming is coming? How, how does that even work? It doesn't. The dead know nothing. Please, people, wake up and get ready with God. He's waiting. The, the final events are here. Union of state and church is happening. Papacy is moving. And sadly, there's going to be many that are going to go after. They're going to follow him. And even the Seventh-day Adventist church is falling away. They're not even preaching the truth. They're not even preparing people. God put pastors to lead the way. But they're not even doing that no more in these in today's churches. They're not. They're not preaching the truth. Please wake up. And my God bless you. And my God, may God guide you. May God help you to get victory over sin. I ask him for the same because trust me, I have a lot to work. Trust me, I have a lot to work. But the Holy Spirit moved me today and he said, we need to start, start talking about this. We need to start sounding the alarm. We need to start telling people that they need to get ready. They need to or their blood will be on your hands. It's heart wrenching. It hurts. It is painful. But God gave us the free will. It is our choice. It is our choice to decide to follow him or to follow Satan. There's only two ways here. The things with the world that are so perverted, so disgusting. The teachers that are, they're, the things that are showing kids now. They're turning our hearts cold. They're sensitizing us. Please, people, wake up and get ready. I'm just here moved by the Holy Spirit to come out here and to warn you and search, search the scriptures. Talk to God directly. Don't listen to me. 
or to no pastor. But God will lead you the way that you need to go. He will show you the way only if you trust Him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. May God bless you guys. Happy Sabbath.